Hey friends, welcome to Lo-Fi Let's Plays with me, Lee Alexander. So I've got something very strange for you today. Um, do you remember when you were young and you accidentally stumbled across adult things? Uh, maybe you had a sleepover and you watched uh, a cable channel such as uh, Showtime or Cinemax and you would see, you know, some softcore romance. Um, that was the story for a lot of us who grew up before the internet. Um, finding ourselves in these weird, soft focus, uh, 70s versions of adulthood. And one such popular program uh, in that genre was called uh, Emmanuel. And it was about a, a European woman and her friends on some sexually liberated adventures. Uh, and as you can see, we're, uh, looks like we're in Rio in a hotel, and there is a woman here. We have um, a mysterious pouch with a number a champagne glass with a number, uh, a lipstick tube with a number, and uh, everything is lined in sumptuous black velvet and you see chandeliers. So you know this is a very mature and international environment. Um, so let's play the Emmanuel game on a quest for uh, romance and erotic adventure. So uh, as you can see I'm gonna move my little cupid cursor to this lady who's enjoying her cocktail and uh, suddenly she turns to me and uh, well, something is happening. We have a lot of speech option options suddenly cycling by. Uh, I'd like to get to know you. Uh, a, a woman of your class is made for happiness. Oh, I'd like to get to know your own Brazil. Hmm, I think this is a bit saucy. I'm not sure what year this game is. It looks very early 80s. Um, let's try to say, uh, you know, uh, a woman like you is made for happiness. I'm offering it to you. She says, we're quite alike. I accept. Now the the speech options were going fast, going by so fast that uh, I couldn't even be sure that we'd choose the option that that I wanted us to to deliver. You know, I wonder if, as a kid, you know, having flirtatious relations with adults would always feel so mysterious. So she accepts. Um, we could offer her a drink. Uh, we could ask her to submit her body to the demands of our passions. I know the text is going very by. Excuse me. I know the text is going by very quickly. I'm tongue-tied here. You know, adult conversation is mysterious. Let's start gently. Why don't we try to buy her a drink? Uh, you can't stay in this bar for one minute without some overconfident butch coming up and pestering you. Well, okay. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pester you. Um, but she hasn't left. Um, let's try something else gentle, like, I find the conversation in your eyes extremely pleasing. And I have so much more to tell you, replies this fashionable cosmopolitan uh, woman of the 80s. Um, this is a cocktail I invented myself. Try it. It's full of energy. Oop. Looks like we've had our cocktails refilled, and oh, something is happening. She's saying, make love to me this very moment. Is this what it's like to be a grown-up, friends? Um, we can choose between, mmm, or another woman is waiting for me. Now, it's important for me to note, friends, that as I understand it, the objective of this game is to find Emmanuel herself and to woo her after gaining, you know, a good deal of erotic confidence elsewhere. Um, so... Let's maybe try to get to know this lady. Um, I'm going to try to... Oh, it automatically chose another woman is waiting for me. I'm not sure if that was a failure of my reflexes or a default that the game demands. We'll never know how we blew our chance with this lady here. I thought you were a big boy, she says. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, farewell. Um, so much for that. Um, so we seem to be in a hotel lobby. Uh, the little Cupid cursor is not... So easy to navigate, but the elevator button doesn't seem to be responding. Um, no one is here at the bar, um, but we seem to have a full champagne glass and a uh, lovely lipstick compact for some reason, even though I think I'm to believe from the narrative uh, information that we've received so far that I am a man courting women around the world. So, uh, yes, sir, do you want to go into town or to the airport? Now, friends, I am not... Uh, doing anything in particular to make these options flash so quickly, so let's just, uh, I'd like to go into town. Okay, there we go. Uh, this looks like the town again. Um, I wonder what we can find here in the town. Um, let's see, is that a sailboat or a shark? Uh, is this a port over here? There's a tiny little house on the mountaintop. I wonder if we can, uh, you know, there's so little information given about how we're, we're meant to get around the world on, on our romantic adventures. I, I have experimented with this a little bit, but I'll tell you, friends, 
wow, okay, we've ended up on the beach and there is a, an adult strolling past and removing her swimsuit in order to sunbathe. Wow, I, uh, I wonder if we should try to get to know her. Oh, and uh, she's put her swimsuit back on and now she's leaving. Well, you know, that's, that's fair, friends. If I, if I were attempting to sunbathe and, and somebody, you know, pointed their cupid at me, I might, might also be offended. Um, can we return to the town on our own? Let's see. Yep. Oh, and, and here's our friend again. Perhaps we'll have another opportunity to, uh, to get to know her better. Um, yeah, when we'd watch these Emmanuel movies late at night, it would always be, you know, very, uh, soft-focused and, uh, you know, Vaseline screen. And I remember, you know, very mature-looking women on, on, you know, stunning sexual adventures. And, you know, I hadn't really seen many women's breasts at that age. I think, uh, you know, be having sleepovers with my girlfriends and we turn to Showtime or Cinemax as a joke. You know, I think it's normal for adolescent girls to kind of have questions about those things together. Um, well, we've blown our chances with her again. But uh, it was kind of a rite of passage that no longer exists in the age of the internet, um, trying to piece together what adulthood must be like through, uh, no, I don't want to go to the town, through games and other media. Um, especially, you know, film and television and the things that if your parents were to come upon you, you'd uh, have to quickly change the channel. Well, things have certainly changed in here. Um, there's a bartender. Perhaps we could uh, greet him. Excuse me, sir. Um, I could be very generous if you happen to know anything about Emmanuel's next port of call. Let's try to buy a tip about where to find this woman. He has no idea. Okay. Well, I don't want any tips about people who come for a drink, but I don't know any other way to exit the uh, conversation menu. So, have you met Samantha, our helicopter pilot? She knows the country like the back of her hand. Um, I have not met Samantha, unless that, that was Samantha who volunteered to uh, make love to us earlier. Um, but we, unfortunately, we failed many times at getting to know her better. There's someone behind the desk now. Oh, I'd like some information about Rio de Janeiro. Cool. You can sample cafes, vinos, and batidas on the terraces, but the caperina in our bar is better. I like caperinas. You know, here's a little fun fact for you, friends, that now that I am an adult, I, I know that a caperina is made with cachaça, not white rum. So if anyone tries to tell you differently, don't listen. Yeah, I'd like to go to the airport, please. Yes, finally, we'll be heading to the airport. Uh, and so here are some of the places we can go. I used to love airports and video games because they hinted to me you know, about the travel that was possible in the world beyond. So here's a man sitting with many suitcases, doesn't seem up for conversation, nor does the uh, lady watching the planes come and go. But what about this, um, she looks like a, a airline employee because she's using a computer in this black velvet corner of the airport. But, um, you know, I don't know, maybe the uniforms were different for uh, flight attendants in Rio in the 80s or whenever this was. Uh, are you allowed to go out alone? I'd like to buy a... F okay, you're... We're saying a number of inappropriate options to this flight attendant. Um, your thin, flexible waist adds to your appearance of delicacy and good breeding. Well, I'm not going to say that to her, I hope. Um, oops. Cut the sweet talk. You're getting on my nerves. Where do you want to go to? Um, Paris? Sure, why not Paris? Salvador? Manaus? I don't even know where that is, folks. Iguacu? Why don't we try Paris? Oh, no, I think that's meant to be where Emmanuel is. Um, we could try Salvador, friends. I've never been to, to assumedly, El Salvador. Uh, here we are, and uh, the hotel uh, fashions here are somewhat the same, except for a poster letting you know that you're in a different location. And there's a new individual um, waiting at the bar. Your regard... Wow, uh, I want to submit myself to all your whims and vices, is something you can say to her. Um... Looks like there's only uh, a few inappropriate comments you could make. Let's just, uh, hey, hit the button and tell her. Uh, no, she, do she doesn't like being pestered. That was not a smooth... Come on, I liked the little hair flip animation she delivered before she disappeared. How about using the elevator in this building? Um, I, I know that sometimes you can, but looks like this one is not available. Um, well, I wonder where we can go in this area. Excuse me, bellhop. I want to go... Oh, no, not to the airport, please. Um, well, we're back here. 
different airport, different set of flight attendants. It's funny how little control we have over our travels and how little understanding we have of why things happen the way we do in Emmanuel's world. Um, again, it sort of mimics for me the sense of mystery and detachment from adult affairs. Um, perhaps we could uh, try one of our lines on this flight attendant, um, commenting on her waist. You're good at talking, but would you really know how to please me? Um, you know, I, I don't know yet. We, ha we haven't succeeded uh, at anything so far. Uh, she uh, is interested in getting to know each other better. Uh, we're not going to pay for secrets. Uh, I would have I would have paid for secrets, but we were not allowed to select that option. I tried, friends. I'm sorry. So I'm trying trying to get us romance. I'm trying to get us some secrets, and I'm trying to show us the world. And and thus far, I've failed. So um, I've been to Rio. What about Iguacu? We could try Iguacu. Do you know where that is, friends? So we're spending our money. I, I guess that. Oh my goodness. This this is a very exciting uh, set of sea cliffs, and there is a beauty. Uh, in the middle of bathing here, and of course, um, because this is an Emmanuel game, we have to bother her. Oh, oh, wow, did you see that? As soon as I clicked on the woman, someone plummeted. I assume, is that me? Plummeted from the cliffs and plucked something from the seafloor um, that he seems to have retrieved it, and now here we are back at the hotel, possessed of something that looks like a, a small golden monkey. Now, having perused the manual, which um, if you're if you're not listening to this video on Rock Paper Shotgun, I encourage you to find the post on Rock Paper Shotgun because I'm going to share um, with the friends there some expert some excerpts from uh, this fascinating Emmanuel manual. Emmanuel manual. Um, I think that's supposed to be an idol that represents our eroticism. Or, oh no, the lipstick represents our eroticism. Um, the idol is something. We need three of them before we can meet Emmanuel, I believe. But, uh, of course, here's another woman minding her own business in the hotel. And trying to interact with her face does nothing but clicking on her body, I'm sure. Yep, she responds. Um, let's try to say something. Oh, she doesn't like being pestered by us either. So far, we, we can't say anything right, can we? Um, and uh, there's no fun to be had in this elevator. I'm telling you, we're striking out here today, friends. Um, I'd like to go to the airport again. Maybe we can continue traveling. Oh, there, there, there's someone else here. She meant to be the flight attendant now because um, that's not uh, official attire as far as I understand. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I've never seen anything so exciting. And she says we haven't seen the most interesting part. Um, you are the goddess of this place. I, I think she looks lovely. Um, um, and I'm trying to pay for secrets. I'm sorry to insult you, ma'am. Uh, okay, carrying on. Let's see. I'll try this place, as we haven't been here before. But as you can see, this journey through the mature and classy world of Emmanuel is, is, is pretty confusing, isn't it? Um, I feel pretty lost. Um, and I feel... Like I'm wandering through a confusing den of sameness and, and, and I'm a little bit afraid, honestly. Um, so here we are. What does this bartender have to say? Um, excuse me, sir. Hello? Pardon. Wow. He has no interest in us at all. Oh, sell me a few good tips. Yeah, sell me some tips. Miss Flo is here at the moment. Be careful. She cannot forgive the slightest hint of vulgarity. Well, you know, that's a good tip, although not many of our, our classy pickup lines, um, you know, really work without the vulgarity, I don't think. You know, we, we, I, I often feel like we're not given a choice here. Um, I'd like to have some information here. Old-fashioned colorful charm. Its houses have decorated plinths, and some VIPs give luxurious parties there. Okay. Uh, is Emmanuel staying here? Sorry, sir, I have no idea. Well, thanks. What about this person? Opera House? I'd like to go to the Opera House. Let's see if I can press it at the same time. I did. Well, my motor skills are getting better, friends. Um, so here we are at an opera, presumably. I wonder uh, what's going to happen. It's sort of a forbidding blood-red stage in a, a dark area where I don't seem to have access to our cursor. Wow. Things have taken a uh, sort of dark and mysterious turn. Imagine us in search of love or, or even just sexual passion with uh, 
numerous women from around the world. And our journey ends here, frozen in an opera house with no recourse, with no understanding of why we're here. Whatever were we meant to do here, friends? Love is difficult, and adulthood is too, don't you think? Wow. Yeah, I, uh... I guess this is where our journey has to end. Um, unless, perhaps in times of old, there would be a song playing at this point that, uh, if we only persist and, and wait it out, we'll soon regain control of, of ourselves. Um... I don't remember much about the Emmanuel programs, just that, you know, there was a beautiful woman and her friends, and uh, they just tended to seduce men on top of kitchen counters and in boiler rooms and things like that. And uh, when you think about it, even though I guess the primary audience for the show was men and the object of the program was supposed to be to titillate men, maybe for young women it was kind of inspiring as well, um, suggesting that we could take control of our sexuality or, or, or something. I don't know, perhaps I'm being overly generous. Um, before I recorded today's Let's Play, I asked on Twitter um, whether anybody who was born um, earlier than 1980, or later than, 19, than the 1980s would have even heard of, uh, of the Emmanuel show. And uh, the response I got was that I don't think so, because, um, you know, Kids later than the late 80s would have been probably seeking their education and their guilty pleasures um, from the internet or from message boards um, or other sources than clunky 80 game, 80s games that I've got to tell you, even someone who's quite familiar with these things, um, I can't quite make out how they work. Uh, if you know any more about how to succeed with Emmanuel in the game, um, you know, please do uh, leave your comments on RPS or, or speak to me on Twitter. Um, we've drained half of our champagne glass. I think that must represent our vigor as, you know, the first time I saw it disappear was after we dived into the sea to get this idol. Um, nothing has happened to our lipstick. Um, I think we spent a lot of money buying secrets that did us no good. And after our confusing romp around the world, after women who consistently rejected us despite our best efforts, this blood-red theater stage seems to be where we end really makes you think, doesn't it, friends? Oh, wow. Anyway, thank you for joining me for uh, a strange and, and vaguely sinister lo-fi let's play. Hope you enjoyed yourself just a little bit, and uh, tune in next week. Thanks. <laughs>